Hey everyone, Rift Scorch here. With Modern Warfare's release less than a week away, I thought now would be a good time for me to talk about it. This is easily the most hyped I've ever been for a Call of Duty game release, maybe even a game release ever. Call of Duty has never really had a special place in my heart like it has had for many people as I really only got into it mid to late 2016 during the release of Modern Warfare Remastered. During that time, I played a lot of it, however, I didn't really understand that as I was coming fresh off the heels of Overwatch, which is a very different type of game. So, after playing Black Ops 4 and World War 2 and not really enjoying them that much, this beta was such a breath of fresh air. I enjoyed it so, so, so much, and in this video, I'm going to explain why. The first thing I'm going to break down is the weapons. The weapons in this game are easily my favorite thing about it. Playing with the M4, the AX50, and the AK, even the MP7, they were all super satisfying to get kills with. Snipers haven't really been viable in the past few years in Call of Duty due to the fact that the maps have been so small. Looking at you, coastline. But, in this game, it feels like no matter where you are, the snipers have some sort of viability. And unlocking the attachments for it and turning it into a quick scope beast was just the best thing. Because in this game, people are saying, oh, I'm bummed you can't quick scope. But if you level up the snipers, it is really easy to, and I'm honestly looking forward to kidding out this thing. However, as much as I love using the AX-50, my favorite gun overall has to be the M4. It's just, I don't want to call it overpowered, but it's pretty damn overpowered. It has little to no recoil. Well, it has recoil, but it's controllable recoil. It's nothing like, say, the... It's nothing like, say, the SMG-11 from Rainbow Six, but... Um... The recoil in this game is actually something that I want to talk about later in the video. But the M4, it's just unlocking the attachments for it, turning it into an M16 is just the most fun thing. The attachments in this game are easily my favorite thing about it. And then the AK, the AK is a little less viable, it hits harder, has a slower fire rate, and has a way slower ADS time, so I think I would stick with my M4. But the fact that each weapon has about 60 unlockable levels of attachments is just ridiculous to me. Getting back into the recoil, the weapons in past Call of Duty games, especially Black Ops 4, have been almost recoilless. There have been little to no recoil on some of the guns in Black Ops 4, such as the ICR and Peacekeeper. However, in this game, the best guns, they have recoil, but it's controllable recoil. It gives the guns a little personality, rather than them all just being laser beams that take no skill to use. So, in this game, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the kits people can come up with with the attachments to help control the new amount of recoil they've put into this. And also, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with these guns to make them absolute pieces of shit and just humiliate people with them. Now let's move on to the map design. Overall, the maps in the beta were another breath of fresh air for me. In the past two Call of Duties that I've played at least, there have been so many issues with the maps. They were too small, they were three lane, and they really cut off viability for snipers as, for the most part, there are only, like, a couple maps that could actually support snipers. But in this game, little to no issue. The only problem I've really had is with Azir Cave as the cave covers up most of the map, making aerial kill streaks nearly useless. Aside from that, any spot that can potentially be camped is really easily accessible. There are a couple spots, such as a window overlooking the entire enemy spawn on McKinley Yard, but other than that, there's really no problems with these maps. As far as killstreaks themselves go, another amazing, let's say, reversion back to the old style of Call of Duty. Call of Duty in recent years has been doing score streaks rather than kill streaks to prevent camping, although it's still resulted in camping. Because, you know, people camped in corners, got score, and then would wreck the enemy team with their points. However, in this game, with the return of killstreaks, I've noticed a lot less campers because people are being really aggressive with the new types of guns they can use and the new type of classes they can put together. Now, obviously, there will be your campers that will camp on top of a fucking crate and just shoot you whenever you spawn because you can't do shit to stop them. But overall, most camping spots can easily be prevented. Finally, let's just go over the gameplay as a whole. The map design and the weapons are obviously a huge part of this, but also just the fast-paced nature of this game is really, really good. 
In past Call of Duties, it's been kind of a hard thing to balance between really fast paced and really slow paced. Because you have the people rushing with shotguns and then you have the people standing on the other side of the map with sniper rifles. However, in this game, due to how fast everyone can move, the different types of sprint, the different types of class you can use, it honestly just makes the game feel so fluid and no class feels truly out of place. And that's really amazing for a game to be able to pull off like this. Now, as far as little things I've noticed and little things I've learned about the game, the animation is all done by hand. That means when looking at a gun firing, that was done frame by frame. And the commitment to this game really shows. And if you didn't know, Respawn Development, the company behind the original two Modern Warfares, back when they were known as Infinity Ward, actually helped work on this game. They brought in some members of the Respawn team to help work on this in order to give it that classic Modern Warfare feeling and it really shines through. Modern Warfare Remasters was probably my favorite COD game I've played to date before this game. Now this game is easily my favorite because it has some of the new things they've learned since Modern Warfare and some of the old things that made the old game so great. And now I'm just going to show you a quick round of me kicking ass or most likely getting my ass kicked. So, I hope you enjoy. I'll do my outro at the end here. Bye. Team deathmatch. Enemy threats in the AO. Weapons hot. We've got control. Grenade out! Tango down. Enemy personal radar in the air. UAV overhead. Allied cruise missile away. UAV overhead.
Friendly UAV overhead. Alright guys, so that was my basic thoughts on the Modern Warfare beta. I'm sorry I didn't cover everything, such as like other guns and the ground war game mode and some of the other game modes, but I really didn't play much else other than Team Deathmatch, because I was trying to just kind of get acquainted with the gunplay, so I didn't really play much else other than TDM. So, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts and opinions on this game, and if you are watching this video, just let me know in the comments if you're intending on picking it up, and if you're not picking it up, why? So other than that, just have a nice day, take care, bye!